production. Combat. Starring Rick Jason. seconds he would have put a hole in you. I've got a check in. You finish mopping up. Right. Well, we got off those shots. Thanks. Uh, Sergeant, I have to admit... I didn't ask who it was. Well, I said it was thanks. This cage. He was just behind me. How far behind? I don't know. Doc, little John, you come with me. The rest of you check out those houses. And don't miss anything. Let's go. shouldn't have been here in the first place. Come on, Cage. How is it? I killed the Frenchman. things like this happen. Well, whenever you're ready, I'll be outside.
Hey, Kirby. Mm -hmm. That crowd that was going to knock off the Sarge, you plug him? <laughs> with all due modesty, I got to admit it was me. How come he didn't want to know who saved him? Sarge didn't want to feel beholden. Yeah, that's right. For one of us, any more than the others. I, uh, I figure he'll save your skin a couple times before this is through, Kirby. <laughs> now, you my skin I'm worried about, Billy. It's my stomach. Hey, Gage. What do you know about the foods that are native to this area of dear old France? I'm not hungry. <laughs> well, we are. Look, since we're guests in this country, you see, and they're your kind of people, uh, being French, I mean. See, maybe when the villagers come back, you could talk them into giving us a pig or something. Or we could throw a little barbecue, you know? I said I'm not hungry! What's with him, anyway? He killed one of the villagers by mistake. Our artillery must have killed a few by mistake, too. Yeah, well, like you said, Kirby, his kind of people. Well, don't you forget, a lot of our kind of people been getting it, too, you know? Yeah, but we didn't do it. And we didn't see their face a split second after a grenade went off. I asked him to bury him. Listen to me, Cage. He shouldn't have been in the village in the first place. They realize it was an accident. They, they understand. Understand? Well, let's hope that's an end to it. Hey, what's with Cage? You speak a little French, don't you? Two years in high school. That's good enough. You come with me. Il y a une famille. Je ne connais pas. Et vous, vous êtes de ce village, n'est-ce pas? J'habite une famille au bord de la rivière. Cage is pumping him. The guy won't say much, uh, except where the guy lived, uh, uh, on a barge uh, in the river. Understand? An accident. Comprenez, c'est un accident. Whatever's tearing a cage wasn't buried with that body. See anything in cage yet? No. Nope. 
Sarge, Cage pulls an outpost in an hour. I'll take it for him. Why? Well, he's all shook up. I just thought that... You just thought what? Cage is such a sensitive soul, the war just became too much for him. Well, I can't see anything wrong with helping a buddy over a rough spot. Well, this rough spot is going to have to help himself over. I don't get him sometimes. He just doesn't want to lose Cage, that's all. Cage is shook. Why can't we give him a little extra consideration? Exactly how much consideration? What do you mean, exactly how much? Well, I mean, how can Saunders help any one of us? You know, if, if we don't meet him halfway, how can he do his job, keep us alive? I don't know. Italian sending up reinforcements. We'll be moving out sometime tomorrow. Right. Where's Cage in outpost? No, he doesn't come on till later. He uh, just took a little walk. He's all right, isn't he? Oh, yes. Yes, he's fine. Quelqu'un à bord
a shirt, huh? Did I ever tell you the story about the about the kid who kept hitting himself on the head with a hammer? Huh? Well, they said to this kid, they said, what are you doing that for? And he said, because uh, it feels so good when I stop. That's a very funny story, Sergeant. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. So why don't you put down the hammer? Look, Cage, every once in a while a guy runs into something and he figures this is a, a very special kind of a hell arranged just for him. All I'm trying to do is to tell you I've had these things happen to me too. I've seen... I've seen buddies follow my orders and end up dead for it. I know. Hmm. You don't know. But maybe now you... You kind of get the idea. You can't personally carry the responsibility. You can't. All right. You got a fire in your gut, huh? I'll tell you what you do. You wash it out. Come on, Cage, wash it out. You're not made of iron. I'm not made of iron. It'd be a lot easier if we were. Qu'est-ce que tu fais là Hein Comment t'appelles-tu Hein Tu demeures ici Oui. Je l'ai vu. Oui, je m'appelle Michelin. Comment tu sais ça Je ne veux pas le savoir maintenant que je suis mort. Il nous a dit de nous parler après que tu es parti. Boy never mentioned the family to me. He didn't feel he had to. He didn't see her or the mother around. He figured there was no point. He's afraid of me. She must know. Long cage, knock it off. She doesn't know anything. Bush. She even thinks we're Germans. No. Some Bobosh, Micheline. Some American. American. You comprend? Some Bobosh. Some Liberator. Some Liberator. Bobo Peur. American. Oui, nous sommes Américains. Il ne faut pas avoir peur. Hein? Avez-vous vu mon papa? Cage. What is she saying? She wants to know if I've seen her father. Les bâches sont venus ici. Ils ont fait du mal à ma mère. Papa nous a cachés dans la forêt. Et après, il est parti. Au revoir les Américains. Vous avez un docteur. Crowds came here. Shot their mother. Father. 
father hit them in the forest, came to us for medical help. Mama, I don't know me. She is a yellow lock of a yay. He's a tight and possible. He plays a pleasure with me. I should see Papa. She thinks. She thinks her mother is asleep. Can't wake her up. for help and I kill him. No, no, no. Tell her only what, what she has to know. And that's all. Father is dead. Hey, Cage, we, we cooked some chickens up last night. Uh, we thought maybe you'd... Well, I mean, we got some left, if you care to... He's already eaten. Well, maybe she'd like a, some chocolate or something. No, thanks. Cage, I think we're pulling out this afternoon.
Gage. Sarge's looking for you. I think we're gonna move out. I know it. Gage, we've been talking to Monsieur Marceau about Micheline, and uh, he's agreed to take her. The townspeople will be back in a couple of days, and he'll make arrangements for her disposition. Disposition? What do you mean? Well, you've heard the word before, Cage. We'll probably be moving out this afternoon. Uh, will you, uh, 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 comme donnerez-vous l'argent pour payer les petits frais et faire les dépenses? What did he say? He wants to know how much money you're going to pay him to take her off your hands. We're not going to pay him anything. We're just giving him a little cash, expense money to take care of her until the proper authorities take over. Sergeant. I know, but maybe, maybe in the wrong way. Well, you better find the right way. In case you're forgotten, we're on standby. Those craps throw down on us, we're gonna need every man we've got. We'll have him. Not if he doesn't snap, too. Did he stand out post-duty last night? No, sir, he didn't. Why not? Up a little John in his place. You're gonna find somebody to hold his rifle, too? He'll hold his own rifle. Well, you better see that he does, and also that he remembers where, how, and when to use it. And the next time he turns his back on me, he's gonna face insubordination charges. Comme il va la voile, hein? C'est pas joli, non? Regarde. Il s'amène juste vers toi. Tiens, prends-le. Prends-le. Tu aimes les lapins, hein? Ma mère me donnait un lapin tous les dimanches à Pâques. Regarde, tu feras un lapin. Et si tu flattes, tu deviens en vie. Tu vois Père lapin. Allez, là. Tu n'es pas en vie, hein Regarde. Regarde. Tu le flattes, hein Tu veux jouer au cerceau? Faut que tu joues au cerceau. Tu aimes pas le cerceau?
No, je me suis pas fait mal. <rire> non, je me suis pas fait mal. <rire> oh, Micheline, est-ce que tu es jolie? <rire> ah. We're leaving right now. The crowds are building up ahead. Take Micheline. You better say goodbye to her. Are you sure you paid him enough? Okay, Cage, I've had it. I'm talked out. You say goodbye to her and let's go. Just give me a cage. She needs me, Sergeant. It's nobody's fault but your own. All right, take her and get out of here. La touche pas, t'as compris? I told you, I warned you not to get yourself involved. Yeah. Take the easy way out, huh? No case the hard way. You're tore up, but you couldn't handle it on your own, so you had to drag her into it to help carry the load. And now it's time to walk away, and there's nobody to lean on. Let's see if you really got the guts. All right, take her out of here. Hey, Cage. Get with it, huh? Men are ready, Lieutenant. We're gonna switch your plans, Sergeant. Company wants us to dig in here and wait reinforcements. Why the switch? Crowds. There's a lot of them up ahead and they're coming this way. Company figures we stand a better chance if we dig in here. We? Oui. You mean one platoon? One squad. Here in town. The rest of the platoon will be out on the flank. All right, get on the next block and dig in. We haven't got much time, so let's move. All right, you heard the man. Let's go. You too, Cage.
please let me go back and get the girl. What girl? What girl? You know what I mean. I don't know any girl, Cage. You and the men in the squad, these are the only people I know. The crowds may go back to the barge. I've got to get her. Cage, will you listen to me? As long as we're together, you might get through this. When it's over, the squad, the patrol, all of it, it's gonna, it's gonna disappear. Everyone's gonna go his own way. What happened to you here will be forgotten. Forgotten? Sergey, if anything happens to that girl... If anything happens to that girl, you won't know about it. You'll see what we see, do what we do, no more, no less. Now you keep taking this personally and you're gonna destroy yourself. <laughs> Going beyond them. No. Wait, wait, wait. All Bonjour, Kate. <laughs> 
Une bonne fille. Let's move out. Au revoir, monsieur. Prenez-en bien soin. Hein? She asked me to say goodbye to you, son. You ready to leave this place, Cage? She asked me how her father died. Told her the, the war killed him. She let it go at that. Well, how about you, Cage? You gonna let it go at that? You know, if you went to the barge for her, she may have died because you weren't here. But I was here. I'm ready to leave. 